So today we are talking about uh, general protections required for an on-grid uh, solar power system. Uh, we are exclusively talking about uh, micro inverters and not about string inverters because in string inverters we will have to have a DC distribution box. In a micro inverter setup we do not require a DC distribution uh, box. So this video is limited to protections concerning only the micro inverter setup. Uh, to start with all the panels have to be grounded you just uh, you can just see now all the uh, uh, all the panels have been grounded through a grounding clip and uh, it is also important to ground the structure you can see the structure is grounded here. So, it is important to use uh, copper as an earthing conductor and not use just a wire or, uh, or, or GI it is important here it is we have used uh, 8 gauge copper bare copper for grounding the structure. So, now we come to this uh, level 1 of protection uh, basically this is a box which, uh, which is there at the junction between our ACDB and the micro inverters or the solar panels. So, the output of the solar panels comes into this uh, MCB here and the output from this box goes into the grid. So, this makes level 1 of the protection here we have got uh, MCB basically if there is a short circuit or if there is any uh, short in the wiring this will trip and isolate our uh, uh, micro inverters. This is our SPD or a surge protection device. Uh, this is used to take care of any surges or transient voltages coming from the uh, power utility grid. It is important to choose this rating as close to the grid voltage as possible. In case we have chosen uh, 275 volts uh, UC, UC basically represents the maximum AC operating voltage. So, the closest to 230 what we could get is 275 volts. So, the same thing has been used here and we have a uh, over voltage protection a relay. Basically, if there is a high voltage from the power utility grid, this is used to cut off our micro inverter or isolate our micro inverter. Basically, the circuit opens up and the micro inverters gets isolated from the grid. Uh, we have used a very conventional relay and a external contactor for this purpose. Uh, it is important to test this actually before it is commissioned here. So, we will actually also show you how this is being tested and you know how the relay and the contactor behaves uh, under uh, high or low voltages. We also have another uh, relay with a built in uh, built in contactor this is provided by N phase of course, this is not uh, not yet commercially available in India, but one could use this as well to take care of any abnormalities in the in the grid. So, now we will go and see how to test this uh, conventional relay and contactor and then we will move to the level 2 of the protection which is given at our uh, ACDB near our electricity meter. So, now let us look at the testing as well as the uh, second level of protection. Now. We just saw the level 1 of protections which was just put below the uh, solar panels. We have put up the same box here in, in the test bench. The idea of this box that is the level 1 of protection is to isolate our micro inverters in case there is an excess voltage or under voltage from the power utility grid. So, this box consists of our MCB and a relay and a contactor. The output from the micro inverters comes into this MCB. Through this terminals we have connected uh, the output to the ACDB box which is near the electricity meter down below. So, this relay essentially uh, senses the voltage of the grid and cuts off the micro inverters. So, now to simulate uh, the grid we have used a variable transformer. We have connected the variable transformer here. So, this is the grid now. So, we are sensing both the voltages. This is the voltage from the grid and this is the voltage reflecting on the micro inverter that is this voltage. So, now we will try to uh, increase and decrease the voltage and see if the micro inverters gets isolated. Now, the voltage of the grid is 234 volts. We will now gradually increase it and see uh, what happens. So, the voltage is knowing going above yes now it crossed 264 volts. So, now the grid voltage is about 270 and the micro inverters have been cut off from the grid. So, no excess voltage is reflecting here. So, we will now try to uh, get back the voltage. So, now I will try to uh, reduce the voltage from the transformer. So, now we will come below a threshold. So, it is about uh, 240 volts and now there is a reconnection and now the voltage is appearing on the micro inverters. In the same way we can reduce the voltage. So, we will go on reducing the voltage and check what happens. So, now it is uh, 
220 to 18 and the voltage has gone to 207 volts so that is again below a certain threshold so the micro inverters have been cut off so there is no voltage appearing across the micro inverters so it is showing under voltage here so now I will get it back to a certain band so now the voltage has gone back to 226 and uh, now again the relay has uh, connected so contact has been established and now again voltage is appearing on the micro inverter. So we can set our over voltage and the uh, under voltage protection using these regulators. We can also test, uh, test uh, set the timer here. So through this relay we can adjust the required upper voltage and the lower voltage and isolate our micro inverters. So this completes our level 1 of protection. So we have got another level of protection just be before the electricity meter that is where the power gets connected to the grid. We will just go and see that in the near the electricity meter down below. Now we are at the main electrical panel of the house. Uh, this house is our ACDB and also the incoming line from our discom. So we have our uh, panes here and we also have the solar coming in here. We are measuring the voltages of both uh, here. They have to be approximately same. So we will see the protections given uh, in this electrical panel. So the basically the power from our power utility grid comes in this meter. Through this meter it goes into a fuse. This is uh, rated for 20 amperes uh, and from here it goes into the ELCB. ELCB is very important for any kind of uh, load. So here we have a 25 amps uh, ELCB and the residual current is 30 milliampere. So what it means is if there is a 30 milliampere of residual current flowing through any metal enclosure, this is basically going to trip and the entire system is going to switch off including our solar since it is connected to the grid. If the grid is off, solar also gets off. So if this, if this trips, basically solar as well as the house, entire thing is isolated from the incoming power. So from this ELCB, the power gets into the SPD. So if there is any surge coming from the power utility grid, the SPD essentially grounds it. So it is very important to give a thick wire and ground it to a very proper uh, thing. So again we have rated this for 275 volts and the basically this ELCB, uh, SPD and uh, MCB are in parallel. So this is the main uh, MCB if uh, one can just uh, trip this to isolate the house or okay, one can even trip the ELCB. So the solar from our rooftop gets into the ELCB again. So this is given again if there is any kind of uh, flow of current through a structure or any kind of enclosures or any live wire touching any metal part, this ELCB will trip and isolate both the inverters as well as the loads. So again we have got an uh, MCB and uh, ELCB and before the power gets connected to the grid, it flows through a generation meter and from the generation meter again it goes through a 20 amps fuse and gets into our main uh, MCB that is the power utility grid MCB. This is where both our uh, uh, solar as well as the grid power gets connected and becomes a grid tie system. Just to reiterate this video was uh, particularly only for protections concerning micro inverters. This is not applicable to a string inverter setup. Uh, also I have only touched the basic and tried to give only the gist of the of the protections involved. I have not gone into details of cable sizing or details of the component sizing or uh, how to do the wiring and how to crimp what 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 lugs to use. Uh, I have not gone into any of those uh, details. This is only to give a overview of the protections involved. Maybe in the next video I will discuss in detail uh, how to size the cable, how to do the wiring, how to do the crimping. Let me cover all these things in the next video. Thank you very much.